converts central. In this video, we are going to be talking about how our experience was fasting in Ramadan. Was it difficult for you? Mm, I think fasting itself is okay. Oh, Alhamdulillah! But is she just saying it or is she actually meaning it? <laughs> what about you? Actually, um, I was just pretending. Um, I do enjoy fasting and actually fasting gives us um, extra energy. So stay tuned to watch more about how our experience fasting. Yay! Let's go! Go! go, go, go. Hello! It's about 10.30am now. I have been working from home for the past 9 2 hours I think and now I am off to work because I have to go on site for a work related task So follow me as I leave the house on a day of fasting and inshallah all will go well Quite excited! Woo Just left the house! Mask free life! Neighbor's door is open But yay so far fasting has been going great Alhamdulillah I think fasting today has really helped me to you know, do my best at my work because I feel like I am more aware of Allah's presence because you are fasting then you are like I don't know, I don't know how to say I think it really helps with taqwa Alhamdulillah And yeah, I think I keep getting reminded of this like book where it says that we are placed on this earth for our, and our purpose is to worship Him and to be His vicegerent like to be to function as a representative of who He is so I don't want to like let him down in a way So I'm trying to do my best I have very really own self competition with myself you know So I just like Wow now I can do this eh. Yesterday the Hafi cannot do You know then like oh, Tomorrow Hafi is going to do better Like I'm going to improve my time while fasting That kind of I don't know I guess very weird I'm uh, working in a in an environment where we have a lot of non-Muslims And I, I may be the only one who's fasting in the, in the, in the office so um, it, it does feel different because like you know when you are doing something which the rest are not doing uh, you feel like uh, you are outstanding for some reason uh, in comparison to the others uh, but however um, it keeps my colleagues curious to how I am able to hold on to, to my fasting whereas outside Ramadan you know I'm always prom in my lunch time and then it even triggered them to go and do some research about fasting, you know, eating and drinking. So I think it is it is fun fasting with while working with uh, a lot of non-Muslim colleagues. Allah bestows blessings upon those who instruct other people in beneficial knowledge, and His angels and all those in heaven and earth, even ants in their hills and the fish in the water, invoke blessings upon them also. From Sunan at Tirmidhi. This is my calendar at work. Every day of the calendar, there is a different hadith or even uh, ayat from the Quran. So I love having this calendar with me wherever I work, you know. So it, uh, at least um, I take maybe a minute of the day to ponder about the message. Alhamdulillah, I work in a Muslim um, workplace. So uh, they make it easy actually. I'm really very grateful to Allah that He provided me with um, a Muslim workplace for people to fast with. We have like uh, iftar session as well, like for everyone once a uh, once in Ramadan. Like so nice. All my colleagues are working, as you can see, and I'm taking my lunch break in my solat corner of this musola alhamdulillah. Do it. <laughs> I heard this talk um a few days ago. And he said that during Ramadan, right, is the time where you really intentionally remember Allah during every moment of your day when you're fasting and you feel hungry, like you feel the hunger pain, right? You're supposed to remember Allah and why you're, why you are fasting. You're supposed to remember Allah like more doing doing more zikr, doing more salat. Like Ramadan is a is a month of repentance and remembrance of Allah. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik wa ali. So, in the month of Ramadan, during my lunch break at work, I love to read this book. It's called the Qasida Buddha, which is uh, you know recited by many Muslims during Majlis. And, and I love reading all these poems. 
um, what more to take the mantle of Ramadan brings me closer uh, to Allah and the Prophet If you ask me now, right, this coming Ramadan, because I'm in a different job, and this job is, oh my god, no time for anything! <laughs> really, like, all the time, I'm just thinking of work mostly because of this job, and it's just it's just quite quite tough, you know? so I, I feel like my challenge is going to be very different from last year, and I can't wait to see what Allah has planned for me. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Assalamualaikum, it is 4.30, and now I'm back here to pray my answer prayers. I'm welcoming this break. I really wanted a break because I've been having a headache. I don't know why. I don't think it's from I don't think it's from the lack of food and water. Because I really feel fine, alhamdulillah. I don't feel hungry or thirsty. I feel very tired. Like I just want to sleep. The challenge is that I cannot have any sweet treats which will like Pick up my energy. I think one thing I want to try doing more in Ramadan and carry forward is to slot your circular life tasks in between your prayer and not slot your prayer in between your tasks. That's so nice! Inshallah! Okay, I'm going to pray now. I'm going to meet my Lord. Bye! Assalamualaikum!